good though. So what's happening, Tim? Well, the car we're in. Whoa. Yeah, that's, that's a very sharp corner. Do you want to try that again? Sorry. We're, we're going to do a, a wide sweeping turn here into the main street. And you're not touching the steering wheel? No. At all? No, and what you'll see is the car's driving itself based on the map of the road, but it's also talking in real time to the city around it and coordinating things like the fact we just got a green light just for us. And now I fit here where we're accelerating. Yeah, we're accelerating down the main road, but again now the vehicle's downloaded some map information telling it there's road work. So we've pulled out wide and now we're going to turn left. Certainly there's been a lot of development already taking place. We've gone from simulation to prototypes and into controlled environments like this. But really what we need to do is get the vehicles immersed in real world driving scenarios and also to engage with the public. I think we're a long way from being able to sell you a car that would automate your journey anywhere you want to go. But we're not very far away from having automated vehicles available as a transport service, maybe around airports, railway stations and small city centres. Obviously there's been some challenges which we've got past today, which has been uh, legislative but there's also engaging with users and allowing this kind of transition of control. So that's the end of my demonstration route, is now the car's told me I need to take control back. This kind of human interaction is really difficult as well.